Well, on witness, the hills on the boil are not just in Assam. In Darjeeling, in neighboring West Bengal, we encounter the same simmer. Twenty years ago, the Nepali-speaking population of Darjeeling had gone on the warpath, demanding a separate state for themselves, Gorkhaland. The man who led the movement, Subhash Gesing, has since then changed his stand. He now wants tribal status for Darjeeling under the sixth schedule of the constitution. But Kaysing's rollback has angered a section of the population who still want Gorkha land and who also resent the tribal status for the hills, where the non-tribal population is an overwhelming 70%. And so the pro gasing and anti-groups have clashed in Darjeeling, where the Gorkha land demand had left a trail of blood 20 years ago. The place is on the boil again. Saurav Sanyal brings you this report. Naked swords and traditional kukuris are out in Karsiong once again, bringing back memories of a bloody past which left scores dead and hundreds injured in the late 1980s when Subhash Gissing's Gorkha National Liberation Front, or GNLF, took on the administration pressing for a separate state. This is the very spot where the first firing, in fact, took place when Gorkha land movement came into being in 1986. In fact, five people were shot dead right here by the police, after which the entire movement spread across the hills and took over a completely different turn. Two decades later, GNLF supporters are out on the streets once again to press for the sixth schedule. The sixth schedule will give tribal status to Darjeeling and arm the tribals with more funds than the area has seen before. The GNLF hopes the parliament will pass the amendment bill this winter session itself. But everyone doesn't share that view. Struggling for basic amenities like water, health and education for years together, Darjeeling's tribals and non-tribals have started speaking out for the first time in 20 years against Subhash Gissing, his administration of Darjeeling and his rollback on statehood. And their anger is spilling onto the streets. First problem, water. Pani. Here for pani nahi. Dekhi, admi. College, college ka bhi problem hai. Sab ka problem. Each and everything. Sab ka problem. You must, here for kuch nahi hai na. Hamana zonta ka kuch nahi hai idhar. Sab neta lo khata hai. The sixth schedule, the local sphere, is a ploy of the GNLF and the West Bengal government to divide the people of Darjeeling of Nepali origin on caste and ethnic lines. Under the sixth schedule, six tribes, the Bhutias, Lepchas, Sherpas, Yolmos and the newly included Tamangs and Limbus will have greater representation in the proposed Gorkha Hill Council than the 70% non-tribal population, who is a Tamang himself to give more teeth to his own people. Riding high on the anti-GNLF wave is the six-week-old Gorkha Janmukti Morcha led by Bimal Gurung. Once Ghisingh's right-hand man, Gurung today is his biggest enemy, mobilizing young and old for the creation of Gorkha land. Six schedule Hamara hit ka baat nahi. Six schedule se hamlo ka jaat jaat mein bivazan hoga. Danga phasa to kisi ko facility milega, tribal ko facility milega, non tribal ko facility nahi milega. Saath saath mein ye jo bhi seat hai, wo seat mein tarka bitar ka hoga, danga phasa to hoga, tana tani hoga. Joining him, the All India Gorkha League, led by tribal leader Madan Tamang. They are playing with fire. You see, if they really try to impose that sort of anti-peoples, you know, <coughs> six hero, there will be, uh, you know, this, there will chaos. They are trying to safeguard the mind duties. I am also tribal. Tamang is in a tribal. But that divides the society. The GNLF, which for the first time is facing opposition, is charting a public relations campaign to tell the people that the interests of the non-tribals have been amply safeguarded in the sixth schedule. That only 10 of the 33 seats of the proposed Gorkha Hill Council 
will be reserved for non-tribals. The opposition has been fairly successful in spreading this propaganda, you know. But I really believe, and it is only for the benefit of the community. It's not going to divide the community at all. In fact, it's going to bring in prosperity. It's going to bring in employment, jobs. It's going to really uh, get us involved in India's prosperity. But not only are non-tribals feeling slighted, even tribals are suspicious about the division of powers in the proposed council. They suspect that the newly declared tribals, the Tamangs and the Limbus, who are also the most populous, will wield all the power. So, braving the chill, non-tribals and tribals are on the warpath against the sixth schedule. Twenty years after the Gorkhaland movement left a trail of blood in these hills, the call for a separate statehood is gaining momentum by the day. While the GNLF, which then led the movement, is now pressing for the controversial sixth schedule, for the man on the street, the ultimate dream remains Gorkhaland, a quest for identity which can be realized not through warring politicians, but by taking into confidence the aspirations of the common man as well. In Darjeeling, Saurav Sanyal for NDTV.